Hello, Harry the Problem Solver. I'm going to help you get through the math portion of the ACT. Pay attention. Typical problem from an ACT test. A car averages 27 miles per gallon. If the, if the gas costs $4.04 .04 per gallon, which of the following is closest to how much the gas would cost for this car to travel 2,727 typical miles. Okay, first thing I like to do, get a problem like this, I like to draw a picture. Got a little head start, here's my guy, he's in his car. What else do we know from the problem? Take the information from the problem, put it in your picture. That helps visualize the problem. So, we were given a few things. We know this, 27 miles per gallon. What else do we know? We know the gas cost, 4,004 per gallon. We know how many miles he went. We don't know how much it cost him. So we're going to set up an equation where we're looking for dollars on this side. And we're going to have all these other factors on the other side to give us an answer in dollars. Because that's what we're looking for. How much? Read the question, understand what they're asking for. How much? I'm talking about money. How far? Distance. How long? Time. This is how much. That's why I wrote dollars. When you see this in a sentence, this is how people talk. But in math, per, whenever you hear per, think divided by. 27 miles per gallon. Now we can plug that into an equation. That's hard to plug into an equation. Gas costs $4.04 .04 per gallon. Dollars is a unit. Just like miles is a unit. Just like gallons is a unit. Dollars is a unit. So what do we have? Dollar sign. 4.04 .04 dollars per gallon. We have dollars here. Oh, this is miles. So we have to figure, somehow we have to get dollars to come up over here. So I'm going to take this quantity right here. I'm going to plug it right here. Why? You're probably asking, why is he doing that? Because some people can think through these things logically in their head and they just can do, you know, oh, 24 miles per gallon, it costs that much, went that far. This way I'm showing you is more straightforward. You don't have to be a genius. You don't have to be able to visualize a lot of stuff. You don't have to. I put the four dollars for it because I'm looking for dollars. If I was looking for gallons, I would, put, I would flip this up, upside down, or maybe I'd use that one. But anyways, this is the one we're using. So how do we go from $4.04? We have to find what? We have to know, if I knew how many gallons he used, it would be easy, right? $4.04 gallons, and I used 27 gallons. Multiply 27 by 4, you get your answer. We don't know how many gallons he used, but what do we know? We know that he went. How far did he go? He went 2,727 miles. So let's just hold this for a second. This is, we just wrote this. So right now we have an equation. doesn't make a lot of sense because it's going to give us dollar miles per gallon. Not really what we want. We want dollars. So if we have miles, how do we convert the miles into, into gallons? We know what the car averages. We take this, 27 miles. Now this is, may look a little tricky, but it's it, 27 miles per gallon 
is the same thing as one gallon 27 per tw every 27 miles. Let that sink in a little bit. So I buy a gallon of gas, I can drive 27 miles. I buy a gallon of gas, I can drive 27 miles. Those are equivalent. You can flip them. You can flip these ratios. Oh, so what do we do? We use this one. Why that one? Because, because, look what happens when we write it over here. One gallon, 27 miles. Sometimes in math you don't worry about units. Sometimes you have to worry about units. This is one of those times you gotta worry about units. This is how many miles I went. This is how much gas the car uses. It uses one gallon every 27 miles. So look what happens here. Look what happens. I have miles. Any number over one is just that number. So that's the same thing. Don't look at that. Miles will cancel with miles. Got miles on top, miles on the bottom. What's six over six? What's pi over pi? Gallons over gallons? One. I got a gallon here and a gallon here. Let's look at the units that are left. These guys canceled. These guys canceled. One's just a number. 27. Now it's just a number. 27. 27 is a number. Boom. Four dollars. I still have dollars on top. So that whole big complicated thing comes dollar sign. 4.04 .04. uh, gallons canceled. I don't even need to write that. Yeah, sure, I can write it. Over one, because it canceled. It doesn't go away, it's not zero. Don't put zero in there, that'd be wrong. One times 27, 27 over one, 27 times one, if it's a denominator. Everything on the diamond I can multiply together, everything on the top I can multiply together. What do I got? I have dollars. I need dollars. And these, my friend, just numbers. Plug me into a calculator if you want. If you don't have a calculator, you can do some real quick. Look at this. 27, this is 27, 27. Well, guess what? Instead of 27, 27, I'm going to write 27 times 101. You don't believe me? Do it real fast. You'll see. That's what it is. So I got 27, 101 over 27 times this. I didn't do anything with, so this is still 404. Not a very good 4. Give you that, and hopefully you get the idea. Why did I do that? 27 is canceled. I've got 404 times 101. Well, you can either do that on your calculator, and you can do it real quick. Right? Four, zero, four, put an extra zero for the space. Now we're going to come over to this spot. Four, zero, four. What does that give us? Four, zero, four. Okay. Screw that. Made a mistake. That's what happens when you try to cut steps. Long division. Or long division. Multiplication. I did the one. So now I have to go over one space and I do the tens column. Well, that's just zeros. Go over another space. Do the ones. One times four. Four. Zero. Four. You should know how to do long division, or you should know how to do multiplication. So, but zero four plus zero plus four is eight. Zero plus zero is zero. Four. Where do I put my decimal point? Let's count the decimal places. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's not right. Guess why it's not right? 
it's not right because what is this number here? 101, right? It was 27 times 101. I knew this was wrong because $4.08, it's got to cost more than that because one gallon costs $4.04. For my whole 2,700 mile trip to cost $4.00? That's how I knew it was wrong. And that's always a good check. I don't know exactly what it is, but I know $4 is wrong, okay? And this is where I made my mistake. This isn't 1.01, .01. there's no point there. This is 101. So what does that mean? How many decimal places? One, two. I only have two decimal places. This is where it goes. So my answer is 408.04. Boom. Does that match anything up here? Yes. Now you know how to do the problem. Another thing you can do, I don't necessarily recommend it, although sometimes it will come in handy, is, um, and some people have a knack for this, some don't. Um, you just, you look at the answers you're given and sometimes you can throw one away. So if it's $4 per gallon, say you bought 10 gallons, Looking at this first number, that's 40, close to 40, 44. So that would be about 10, 10 gallons of gas. 10 times 40, would, yeah, it would be 40 or 4. Wouldn't be exactly 44, 44 would be $40.40. So if you got 10 gallons, you'd pay $40.40. Uh, $40 close to this number. But 10 gallons, how far is he going to get? He's going to get 27 times 10. He's only going to get 270 miles. So you can throw that guy out right away. That's not the right answer. Throw it out. Now you got these guys. Mm. Boom. 